what is a sacrifice? Kati tunyonyole sadaka chichi. Can you read for us Genesis 22? Tusome luberebere ya vile mbili. Verse 1 and 2. Ulusoka no loko vile. Kuluberebere sula vile mbili. Orinyoro soka. Auruva nyuma rebio. Katonda nake ma Ibrahimu na mugamba anti Ibrahimu. Na yu garanti nzenzuno. Na yu garanti tuwa la kakano mwana o. O mwana o mu. Goya gala ye isaka. Ogene mwansi mwali ya. O mwere yu kubechi wewa ye chokewa. Kulumu kunsozi. Rendi kugamba ko. Mukama yeba ziwe. Praise God. Praise the name of the living God. We are trying to define what a sacrifice is. A sacrifice is an offering of great value. That you surrender to the one that you love. Is an offering of great value. That you surrender to the one you love. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible is talking about Abraham being visited by God himself. He called him and Abraham heard the voice of God clearly. Can you go back to verse 1 on the, on the screen? Verse 1, chapter 22. Is there anyone on the projector? After these things, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham. So that means God called upon Abraham. And okay. Abraham had the voice and said, Here I am. He answered. Uh-huh, continue. Take your son, he said. You are only. It is even God telling Abraham. You are only. Son. And he knew his name. He said Isaac. Not Ishmael. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes we, 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 we exchange the sacrifice. We can. So this one did not take Ishmael. Was it Ishmael already born? Ishmael aliwali. Hallelujah. So he said, Isaac. God was very specific. And he said, Whom you love. Hallelujah. Amen. And truly, Abraham loved Isaac. Then tells him, You go to the land of Moria and offer him there as a bounty offering. On one of the mountains, I will tell you about. So we have defined a sacrifice as an offering of great value that you surrender to the one you love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So a there are so many people who say, Me, I am a giver. Me, I give so much. Me, I give so much. I, I, I sacrifice so much. You do not know what a sacrifice is. <laughs> Others give which things are not even theirs, and they say, I give, I give, I give. What is not yours will not hurt you. What you have not sweated for, you will not, it will not hurt you. Which you have not paid for a price, it will not hurt you. Hallelujah. Amen. Abraham waited for Isaac for 25 years. That was costly for him to wait. 25 years he was waiting. Isaac was Abraham's future. The legacy of Abraham was supposed to be taken over by Isaac. Isaac was the heir of all the estate of Abraham. Here, God says, give me that son whom you love so much. Hallelujah. Amen. So if it is value, Isaac was 
a valuable sacrifice. But the one whom Abraham loved, that is God, asked for that something of great value. Hallelujah. Amen. I imagine Isaac saying, should I tell, I mean Abraham saying, should I tell Sarah? Won't Sarah call the neighbor and say, Come and see, my husband is running mad. He wants to murder my son, my only son. He must have thought through. And they said, If I tell Sarah, I may not succeed. Maybe for for whom Abraham had Ishmael, but Sarah had none. That, that was Isaac. Isaac. And says, I want Isaac. And God is, knows that Abraham loves Isaac. The one whom you love. Hallelujah. Amen. So a sacrifice is something you love and you are attached to it. Amen. Yes. Yes. I saw a person who gave away the car to me how he was shedding tears. God spoke to him, worship me. The sacrifice I want for you of worship today I want is your car by giving it to your pastor. I saw how the man was folding himself down there. For me, I was feeling how God has moved in his life. But now, he would stand and do like this. Is that what you are doing? Which thoughts were going in his heart? He loved his car. He had driven it only three months. A weekend before, he had refused to give it even to a fellow businessman who had wanted to go with it to the village. And now he comes to the altar and says, No, you have come. The only sacrifice I want is the car. That car which you love so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember also when I sacrificed a portion of my plot in Busitema. It was not easy. I took like a whole year reasoning with God. I would tell God, this is the inheritance of my children. This is where I want to get some rent to, for my children. But every time I would go to the altar, he says, give me that portion that you want to sell. That portion, I want it as my altar. I started quenching the voice. I said, I think it is the pastoral and the church planting ministry in me, which is admiring to put here. It is not God. And one time the devil came through a certain other broker. And the broker said, do you know what? If you come this weekend, the money you wanted from that piece is go, the, oh, the, the buyer is going to pay you three times. And I was still working in New Vision. I put down the phone and I started shaking in the chair. And the voice told me, before you dance, you call back and ask what does that buyer want to do. And he wanted to put a mosque. I was very dejected like a cane. I felt dejected, dejected. The night when I came back at home, I cried to God and I said, I release it, I release it, I release it, I release it. 
Bwana kama kana kama mkama leo ni mbade ye taka mbade yo sija kudamu litunda. Haleluya. Amen. A sacrifice ibiro byetu gaba ndese sadaka yetendo munyumba ya mukama. A sacrifice is given painfully. A sadaka ewewa yo mubulumi painfully. Mubulumi. <laughs> Very painful and you are so attached like like bakugagambula ko so esadaka ibiranga ekukwata ko kujikujja kubanga bajimamude bumamude so a sacrifice something you love and so much attached to it echinungo chagala tenga chikwata kumutimago it is painful when god demands it chiba cha bulumi mukama nga chisabi but because you love him beyond anything else you choose to obey naye kubanga omwagalo ko sukulume ebindu no gonda haleluya amen the widow in the days of elijah in first kings chapter 17 era namwandoyo mu biro byeria mu sebasikaba kisoka isule 10 no musambu with her son they had a little flour and a little oil bali nayo bungo butono no food butono The Bible is very clear when God was sending the prophet he told him I have already commanded the widow to prepare you food you go when the other brook had already dried up because of the drought which was in Israel so God instructed his prophet to go to the widow and the widow resisted the first I said no Bible egamba ni ndagire namwando kulisa na yena bibu yatukayo namwando na aganira kamere You see there is a fight when you are releasing a sacrifice. There's something you feel you are losing, something very valuable. This is the only flower I have, the only oil I have. I'm going to eat it with my son. When it is finished we shall just die. I said, you know you can make it. It will not dry out. And the Lord supplied throughout the drought. Mukama nagabirira namwandoyo. But it was not an obvious yielding. Tetchali chango kugonda. Hallelujah. Amen. But it was valuable. It was like a lunch, it was like one meal, but very valuable to the widow. Emere wade yali lunch emuna yenga ya muwendo mbula namwandoyo. Hallelujah. Amen. A sacrifice is very costly. Era sadaka ebera ya mutango munene. When we read Mark 14 From, Marko, va, from verse 3 Marko 19 kutandika ku Luke 3 Mark 14 from verse 3 Marko 19 kutandika ku Luke 3 Mako esula 19 runyo Luke 3 Ngatude kumere omukaze yali ne chupe ya mafuta ago mugavu ago muwendo munji enyo najja naya se chupa amafuta nagafuka kumutwegwe naye wali wo mubbo abamu abasunguwala ngabagamba anti amafuta gafude chiwe gatyo kubanga amafuta gano bandi inziza okugatunda mu dinali ya 1023 nokusingawo So the other Bible scholars all other versions say that the, the 300 dinari were equivalent to a whole year's wages. Era influence lazi gamba zino dinari ya 1023 gwali musala gwa mwaka mulamba. Let us say somebody is working in Yunura. Katugamba wali akolera mu Yunura. And in Yunura maybe you are earning like 20 or 15 million. Nga ofuna milioni yo milioni zo 15 ku mwezi. So get 15 million the multiply by 12 month that is like 180 million. Kati kubisa milioni 15 emyezi 12. That was the value of that perfume. Kati perfume mweyo wetu yalienga no muwendo. And that was the treasure this woman had. Kati kali cho muwendo mchalo no chalina. Very costly. Na cha muwendo nyo. He broke it. Nachimenya poured it on the body poured it on the body of Jesus Christ. Nayi wakumbiri kwa Kristo. Others looked at it as a waste. Aba ne bagamba la badibu dayononye. When you are giving a sacrifice other people see you wasting. Bobango wayo sadaka bala bachira banga yonono. Other people see you losing out. Lala ola bafiru achoyo. 
They think you have something wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. But to God you are making history. Hallelujah. Amen. To God you are making history which can remain speaking for years and generations. When you give a water sacrifice it remains speaking. For me if I gave my piece of plot and even if I would go they will continue speaking. People, people will come when I'm in heaven they are getting healed me and my credit shoop, shoop. people will be getting saved I am getting marked people are getting delivered in that church I... hallelujah Amen. you remain speaking the sacrifice remains speaking ask you friend or your, your own self when you leave with the sacrifice which you remain speaking you rather start giving a worthy sacrifice hallelujah Amen. there was another woman I think it was also a widow he came to give two coins They were like valueless coins. Today we would equate it to a 50 shilling coin. The Bible says that was what she had. Only two coins. That's all that she had. The rich came. Abagakane bajja. Puh, imchibu. Basula yo gabasa. Judas was saying, "Ah, uh-huh. oh, you don't know." Yuda na sanyo kana gamba lero sa on sanyo. Another one brings the coins. Omanasula mwe bikwinusu. Heavy. Abizi towa. Jesus was also watching. Ngana Yesu atunula muchibu. The poor widow came with her two coins. Na muandu na leta bunusu we bubiri. Her livelihood. <laughs> I think some apostles are saying, and I believe some apostles are saying, why is she also bothering? Is she also giving? But do you know, the people could not see your, your sacrifice, but heaven can see your sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The people who were around did not recognize the widow's sacrifice. But heaven is so a humble sacrifice. Jesus is so a worthy sacrifice. Bigger than what the wealthy people were giving according to the kingdom principles. Hallelujah. According to the principles of, of heaven, the woman had given her life, livelihood, all of it. Hallelujah. Amen. She gave her two coins. Coin is a bill. So it also shows you that the value of a sacrifice is relative from what you have in abundance. It's relative. Someone can give something we may think as very valuable, like five million. And you jump out of your skin and say, Wow. No gamba how no what do you? But in heaven they say, these are droplets. <laughs> what he has no what you kungumuka. It's nothing. It's nothing to compare to what he has left. So in this we are learning that a sacrifice is costly, is valuable, but it is also given by faith. Like the, the woman who had two coins, she gave by faith. He let us also read Hebrews 11 verse 4. A 
Ave blani esula kumi ne mna rinyoro kuna. Oluo kukiriza, abili ya wakatonda sadake singo vulu njo kire ya kaini. Ea mute geze so kubano vutu kilivu, katonda wa ya tegeleza kubirabo, kubirabo vye. Ero luo kuo, ni wankuba denga ya fa, achayo gira. Can you imagine? Ni wankuba denga ya fa, achayo gira. He's still speaking. Do something, even when you die, we shall be speaking about you. Why can't we for, just forget you as soon as you die? Even though he died, he's still speaking. Hallelujah. Amen. By faith, he gave, not because he's. He had much to give a worthy sacrifice. We do it by faith. You see, checking. Then you open your money passes and no That is not by faith. That's not by faith. And without faith, you can't please God. So that means people come to the altar with sacrifices. They are not pleasing God. They just give some of their money, part of their resources, part of their time. Some people have even talents and abilities, but they just subtract a little of their talent to serve God. I've just tested you something, but there's more in me you don't know. <laughs> you're like a Cain, you're giving cost something, something from your garden. If the Bible says give your all bodies as holy sacrifice, body means you, all of you. In you, you have treasures which are skills, abilities, gifts, even money, even resources. Some of you, you just give a call to the church some time. Let me give a call some time to these worshippers. Let me give a call time to the intercessors. You are like Cain. You are Cain. Cain. So you might find the abbeys being accepted and they are receiving supernatural works and for you say, but we always come together here. What is, what is the difference? The difference is you are, you are giving a portion, a part of it, but not with the owner. Some people praying, they just be puko God. They reserve themselves in even prayer. <laughs> Does God get fed up of you? He doesn't. He doesn't. So, sometimes he even withholds and says, please today be here and say, we God. Sometimes God wants you to fellowship with him and say, be around. And we say, God, the time of prayer, that's enough for today. Is that not a lame sacrifice? For him, he has even come all the way from heaven. He says, I want to fellowship with you. I want you to spend this day in my presence. Sacrifice the day. Sacrifice the day. I just want a day. How much do you give God in a day? Whether you have too much business, at least two hours and 40 minutes, the minimum you can give is two, two hours and 40 minutes. Quality time, no interruption. 
That's the, the minimum you can give him. The, the tithe. The, I call that one tithe of the whole day. Whether you give him during the day or the night, it is upon you to make appointment with him. Then you can add on an offering. I said before, me, my basic is 2.4, but I want to go now with three hours. But some people beep 10 minutes. And then they, they want to come from there with the power. You are acting, stop acting before God is people. People who don't have quite a time at the altar, they are actors. If you want to come out to over the altar with the life, even the time is a sacrifice. And what do you do with that time? Are you concentrating on him or you are concentrating on your business? You are troubled by many things. So, a worthy sacrifice is given by faith, as we see, Abel. A worthy sacrifice must not have defects. Defects vary, or blemishes vary. There, there is a variation in the blemishes or the, the blemishes. time can be blemish you, you use it for evil singing can also be blemished no you may be even making a noise for God. He rejects your songs. Hallelujah. Amen. A sacrifice should be given out of a pure heart. Firstly, Samuel 15:22. Samuel Samuel Soka, Kuminata, and Abiri Mubiri. Samuel Soka, Sula Kuminata, and Nolunio Rabbi Mubiri. Samuel in Iogan and Timokama, a San Yukirebi Wayo, Ebio Kewa. Nessa Dako, Quinkananga was San Yukiroko Gondere de Dobosiria Mukama. So God looks at a heart that is obedient. Katunda Tulo Mutima, Ogugonzi. A sacrifice physically may be looked at as given. But the obedience is what God looks at more than what you do. It, yes. the, the sacrifice to be accepted, it begins with a, an obedient heart. Hallelujah. Amen. So the condition of the heart that obeys God is important if the sacrifice is to be counted worthy. Can you, can, you read, can you read Malachi 1 verse 6? Malachi 1 verse 6. Okay. A son honors his father and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor. And if I be a master, where is my fear? Says the Lord of hosts unto you all priests. And they're asking us priests. Even you who is seated there, you are a priest. That despise my name. And you say, where have we despised thy name? Go to seven. Verse 7. You offer polluted bread upon my altar, and you say, Where have we polluted thee? 
Can you continue to 8? Verse 8. Uh, verse 8. Uh, can you continue to 8? Verse 8. And if we, we offer the blind, now this is God himself the, feeling dis, disappointed by the kind of offerings. If you offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? If you offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with thee or accept that person? says the Lord of hosts. So God is like describing these evil sacrifices which you cannot even give to a local leader because the governor was like a community leader. Praise the Lord. And the truth is that there are people whom you can